Hi everybody, Kevin England here. It's April 15th, about 11 o'clock. It's about 65, 70 degrees today. A little overcast would have hoped this would have been done on full sun. I'm here at hive site number two. You can see all the bees in here. Check this box yesterday. It's completely full, so we're going to do a split on it. My intent in this section is to go in these bottom two brood boxes and pull out seven frames, combinations of honey, and brood and put them in this box and then I'm going to take this box and set it above the queen excluder that I have on here and as I remove each frame I'm going to move the bees off I'll put this box back up here and I'm hoping that the nurse bees will come up and cover the brood and then eventually I'll come back later today after they're all covered off and take those frames out and put them in a nuke so we'll get started I smoked this hive already and I'm going to start breaking things down and go get my frames. I have a couple frames off here off camera that are going to go in the box to replace the ones that I am going to take out. So I don't know how much it shows up on the camera, but you can see this box is totally loaded with bees. There's so many bees in here. some brood and pollen here and a little bit of uh, storage so we'll to see what's going on I believe I'm gonna find what I'm looking for up here And there's the brood. All kinds of drone brood. There's some regular. So that's the one I want. It's got a full frame and you could even see a new bee crawling around there just emerged. She's still pale. I've got no, I've got some larvae over here on the outside. So go look and see if I have any eggs in there. I don't see any. But I do see a young, relatively young larvae. The thing is packed. So this one's going to be taken out and here I do see really young larvae on this side over here with some pollen ring over here. So take that one. So here I have the same thing. I have a lot of uh, capped brood and I have all brand new larvae over here. Let me take a look and see. Yep, right down the eggs, it's completely packed. So this is gonna be a great frame to put a nuke. Put it in nuke. I'm going to look for 
one more. Starting to show a little interest in my glove here. Another full frame. It's got pollen and brood. No eggs on this one. There are a handful, but they're full up. See what I took here is I have a honey frame with some pollen in it. This one's got honey. I shook some of the honey out.
but that's what I really wanted is this. Look at all the pollen in there and some nectar stores. This side's got nothing on it, but that side's loaded. So this is my last frame that I need. Now I'm going to put everything back together here because I've made a heck of a mess out of this hive. Okay, so following what I did here, this is going to be what will be my new hive at some point for a split. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll take this last one out. I'll put nine frames in here. So, seven of the frames I pulled out of the original hive I have in here. I shook the bees off of them. My expectation is that after a period of time, the nurse bees will come up and cover the brood that's in here. And mind you, it's a warm enough day right now, so they're not at risk, the brood and the larvae. But when I come back later today, I'm hoping these frames will be covered, and then I could just take them out and transfer them into new. So let's put them back, and again, I'm putting it above a, the queen excluder. Because while I have the brood up here, I don't want the queen in there. And I'm going to put all my honey boxes back on. I'm going to come back later and see what happens here. The box gets taller. All the ants that were here pretty much scurried away. Oh, inner cover. I got this ratty box up here temporarily. Got another project going on inside this box, but story. So I'm going to put this in touch and I'll assume at some point these bees will find their way back in. So that's it this afternoon after our soccer game. I'll come back and uh, we'll take this box apart, take a look at it, and hopefully all the frames of brood will be covered with bees, and we're going to put that in a nuke and we'll be good to go for this afternoon. That's it for now. So it's 3.30 in the afternoon, and I'm back here, I want to take the frames out of this box and put them in my nuke for my split. The bottom board we switched out is completely empty. There's still so much activity here. Haven't smoked the bees, don't want to chase them around. They might be a little aggravated with me, that's why I'm fully suited here. But uh, my intention is to take these three off, put them aside, go in that box, pull the frames out that I set aside to build my nuke with. I'm going to pull five frames out of this box. And then there's two other frames in here that I want to shake off and get the bees, the extra nurse bees in here. At this time of day, there's still a little sun going on. It's about 75 degrees. Crazy warm for April 15th, but we're good to go. And um, hopefully they'll be nice with me here. You can see that there's a lot going on at the entrances. So uh, pretty, pretty active hive here in the middle of the day. Should have had some sugar water, but forgot to mix it up this morning, so I'm gonna go uh, solo here. 
and they're up off the hive already here, so, excuse me girls, a little bit of smoke probably would have been a good idea or something. Bees and all, should be nurse bees on here because they're drone, or they're uh, brood comb. There's so many bees in here, I can't find a place to grill. <laughs> You see they're all over me here. Should have had my spray. I'm glad I'm fully suited. Three. Four, we got room for one more in here. Yep, one got me. Threw your glove. Threw my glove, yeah, just just pinprick, but not not bad. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these other brood frames that I have here and I'm going to shake the bees down on them. Because I want these bees. One more frame. Cover them up. That's the one with the gap anyway. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't want to crush any of these bees here that are escaping, so. That's it. So this box has brood with frame, uh, frames with brood, eggs, larvae, honey, pollen. It's good to go. What I'm going to do is take it over to the other place since it's primarily got nurse bees. They're not exiting. They're all staying in the box on the brood and it should be good to go. I have a second box over there that I'm going to put on top and I'm going to feed these bees. And we're good. This box was just a carrier box. I'm going to leave it sit here and let these bees empty out and then I'll put it away in the garage. So 
good to go. I'm going to leave this box and away we go. So that's it. I'm going to make this split and see what happens. <laughs>